Hello, this is Chris Smith with Synergy Resources. Manufacturing companies often struggle to effectively manage their manufactured items, and this can sometimes result in stockouts, unexpected cost anomalies, too much inventory, material delays, and all sorts of other issues. Today, we'll talk about how items, routings, and bombs help you bring order to this chaos by defining how items are made and what resources or materials would be consumed in the process of making them. And we'll explore all of this within Infor's Cloud Suite Industrial ERP platform, otherwise known as CSI or Sightline. And this concept form does a great job of illustrating how this process works. Items, operations, and materials all work together to form what is commonly referred to as a bomb or bill of material or even bill of manufacture, all somewhat synonymous terms. But I like to think of it as a recipe because if you wanna bake a cake, you're gonna need a recipe that tells you what steps to take and what ingredients you're gonna need. And if you wanna make an item, then you're going to need a bill of material or bomb that tells you what operations to perform and what materials you'll need. And this recipe is called the current bomb. You can think of it as an items template or the standard for manufacturing a particular item. And any manufactured item will have one or more operations and each of those operations could have one or more materials that will be consumed as the operation is completed. If we take a closer look here, each operation is tied to a work center, which represents a group of resources. It could either be people or machines, and each of those can have specific shifts and even excluded holidays. So you're not trying to schedule resources outside of their normal availability. And these elements work together to tell the system how much cost to apply when work is done, as well as how to schedule the operation. So let's take a look at the materials. Any materials tied to an operation need to have a source. Of course, the materials are items which have their own source setting to tell the system how the demand will be met, but we have a handful of supply reference options. Any purchased item might be sourced to a purchase order, but if it's stocked, it might pull it from inventory. A manufactured item that isn't stocked might be sourced to a job order. So let's have a look at an item with a pretty basic bomb structure because items are the backbone of CSI. And how you define them has a big impact on how the rest of the system will work. Now this is a sprocket. And as you can see, it's a manufactured item. Now the source field represents the default way this item is brought into the system. And I say default because an item that is normally manufactured can still be purchased and vice versa. You might be able to make this item for $5, but you have limited capacity right now. And there's a place down the street that will make them for six and their lead time is pretty decent. So it's nice to have that alternative, which gives you flexibility to switch between sources on the fly. And if this item was stocked, you might have some on a shelf and then whatever demand you had for this item would be pulled from inventory, but it's not stocked. So anytime we need one, we're gonna need to release a job order to make it. And when that job order is created, you can feed it a copy of this item's current bomb. And CSI will use that bomb information to help you make sure you have the materials on hand and the resource capacity to get it scheduled. So let's have a closer look at what a bomb actually looks like. The engineering board is a great way to visualize the basic bomb structure for a manufactured item. And what we see here is a list of operations represented by the darker blue. And then we see materials in the lighter shade. Some operations have one or more material requirements. And this one is telling me 
that I need half a pound of this steel for every sprocket that I'm going to make. This will be consumed as part of Operation 10. And every operation could have one or more materials. This one doesn't have any. This one has two. And we can see them here. And by right clicking, I can go to the details on this particular item and see exactly what's going on. So this is a nice interactive way to visualize and get more details on your bill of material. Now, what we see here is known as a flat bomb because it only has a single layer. But if any of these materials happen to also be a manufactured item, then we'll need that item's bill of material to be represented here. So let's take a look at what's called an indented bomb or a multi-level bomb. We'll close this up and we'll look at another item. Like the sprocket, this bicycle is a manufactured item. And if we take a look at the engineering board on this item, we'll see that it has multiple levels. This is because one or more material requirements of the parent are also manufactured items, which will have their own bomb structure. I can click on this item here. This is the frame and it's a manufactured item and it's going to be sourced to another job that has its own bill of materials that represents how to make this frame assembly. And as you can see here, we have an item on OP30 that should look familiar. This is that sprocket that we were looking at before. And so we see that it's sourced to its own job because we'll need to make that too. And this bomb structure is exactly what we saw before. So when we need to make this bicycle, we're going to create a job that's gonna bring all of this bill of material structure into it. You'll have a main or a parent job, as well as multiple sub jobs or children. The sub jobs are completed to satisfy the material demand of the parent. Tying this all together, the bill of material is how CSI will know what resources are required so it can create POs for purchased items you don't have, sub jobs for manufactured items you don't have, as well as allocating the right resources for the operations you'll need to complete in the time frame you need it by. So if you'd like to have a bit deeper dive into these topics, Synergy Resources is here to help. So get in touch with us. Thank you for your time.